Joe Tomorrow from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome to a special edition of We're Gonna Train You and Create Jobs. That's right, I'm here with my boy Robert. How you doing, man? Pretty good. All right, so he's not really my boy, but he's my neighbor, and for the last couple of years, man, he's been working with us, and we train him to do pumps. So this is our first series in our pump repair school, right? So in the next following series, the first thing you wanna do, before you even worry about what tools you're gonna use, what kind of jobs we're even gonna create here, is you wanna go look up top, if you're watching this on YouTube, you want to look right on top and there's a little subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. That way you're notified every time we make a new video. You get the training exactly when you need it and you can start making money yourself. Or if you're watching this on my website, because we also have the videos on the website, okay, you can either bookmark our website, which is wetheadpumprepair.com, or you can go to YouTube by clicking the little YouTube logo that I think is right here in the bottom of the corner of the video and that will open up the video on YouTube and then you can hit that subscribe button. Okay. So here in America, you probably know, like Robert knows, right? There's a lot of not jobs right now, okay? So you probably don't hear too many pool guys like me talking about this, and we're not trying to get too political, but we can't depend on anybody to get jobs except for our own people. So me and Robert, we don't know how many jobs we're going to create, and we're not going to try to be like politicians and say, like, hey, we're going to create 500,000 jobs a month. But, you know, if one person out there watches these videos and thinks, hey man, this guy has a point and starts making a few bucks, that's one job created. That guy starts buying bearings, right? The guy in the factory has to produce more bearings. He needs a day off, they got to hire someone else. Mm -hmm. So let's so all pitch it in, let's show you what to do. All right, so everybody knows there's pool and spot pumps. Now maybe you're, you've already fixed your pool and spot pump from my other videos and you're like, hey man, I'm subscribed to this guy's channel and what's this guy trying to say now? Well, think about it. So if you've already rebuilt your own pool pump by watching our videos, then you know that at, even at retail, if you buy the parts from me, someone like me at wetheadpumprepair.com, right, even at retail that the, the seal and the bearings for this pump will only cost you about $30 and that's delivered to your house. Now, if you know that the price of a new pump, right, this pump here, like this Eagle Clear, I think this pump goes for like $300 in the $300 range. Now, think about that. If you go to, if this pump breaks and you own a spa or you have a neighbor with a spa, or a friend or a coworker, they need to spend $300. Now, I'm not trying to say anything else about any other country or where things come from, but like, think about it. How many neighbors do you know that might be on food stamps, on disability? You not, might know a really smart guy in your neighborhood, and you're like, yo, if that guy had something to do, he would really make good of himself. You know, well, here's something to do. Like, so you can get a bearing here, a bearing here, and a seal here, $30. So even if you, let's just say you bought it at retail, you could take $30 of the parts, take this thing apart, put it back together, even if it took you a day or two days, right? Then you can tell the customer, okay, I'll fix it for you for $150 because labor is important. Now I know, unfortunately, in this country, some people are trying to break the unions and there's fights between we want unions and we don't want unions. But I mean, think about that. I mean, that's pretty decent money. And so you say to yourself, wow, 150 bucks, that is pretty decent money. Now, you're also saving your money for your neighbor, your friend, your relative, your coworker. They otherwise, what other option do they have, right? If you don't repair these pumps, okay, you have no choice but to buy another pump. That's, that's just it. I mean, it's either buy a new Eco Clear or a Hayward Super Pump or a Pentor or a Whisper Flow or a Jandy or a North Star. I mean, I mean, and you, as you know, probably because you're watching these videos and you have a pool or maybe you're looking for a trade yourself, but these pumps range. So if you're just tuning in now and you're saying like, hey man, like I've never worked on pool pumps. I just caught this video from some other video. Like, yeah, these pumps are expensive. They start at like $249 and they go all the way up to about $2,000, $3,000. Some of the newer pumps now, the Whisper Flows and these Intelligent Flows, they go up to $1,400, $1,500, $1,700. So think about that. Okay, so right now, I, you know, there's also a lot of magazine articles you've probably read, right? Where people are like, oh, well, I, I, and I've seen this. And I'm not trying to say, you know, so if you're watching this and you might be in my industry and you're like, oh, is he referring to my article? I probably am, okay? But I'm not going to call you out of a name because I'm not like that. But yeah, I seen this article, right? This trade publication. It was like rebuilding versus repairing pool pumps. It was like, oh, well, you shouldn't rebuild pool pumps because, like, you know, there's new these energy efficient ones now. Okay. So let's just, let's just okay, let's just start there, right? But what happens with an energy efficient pool pump that you just spent $1,700 on because you got that rebate or your local pool guy was like, oh, dude, that's an old pump. Get this new one. And you're like, okay, I'll spend $1,700. And you did, which is okay, right? But now, two years later, that pump needs bearings. What are you going to do, man? You're really going to flip another $1,700 down? Come on, man. Now, I, and that's what makes this business more important to start now. 
Because you can start with the older pumps, right? Get your experience, and then in a few years where all these, you know, intelligent pumps start breaking down for 1700 bucks. Like, think about that. Like, so if you're a trade guy right now watching this video, like this pump now is 300 bucks. So the most we could get to rebuild it is between 99 and 149 because, you know, that's half the value, just like, you know, if you pawn something, whatever. So in five years from now, when all the pool pumps are 1700 like, think about that, man. You might even have to fix one pool pump a day, and you can make a nut. So that's what I'm saying. So if you're interested in electrical motors or you're mechanical, if you have bipolar, you have depression, if you're disabled, you have one arm, you're out of the military, dude, it doesn't matter. Ma'am, it doesn't matter. You could be a female... I don't care who you are, purple, Chinese, Russian, American, that's it, man. Watch these videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and me and Robert are going to show you how to make hundreds of dollars, like, from your own shop. Like, like, many of you have noticed, me and Robert, in the 220 other videos we have, we're not like this big warehouse, we're not wearing executive suits, you don't see any pan angles like the John Stewart show, John Stewart, what's up? If you ever watch this, man, I love you, Tosh, same thing, right? Robert actually wants to spray paint himself. Totally gold to be on the Tosh show. And I'm like, eh, I don't know, man. So, Tosh, if you're watching this, leave a comment and uh, Robert will do it for you. Okay, anyway, back to the story, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, we even have fun here, and Like, we rebuild tons of these pumps. Now, the other thing is, too, like, you know, I'll say this for if you're still watching this video at this point, which I hope you're rambling, but it's been a long time I've been rambling. So, my salute to you if you're still watching that, right? Okay, we also sell bearing seals. And if you're interested in becoming a pump mechanic, right? What you can do is we'll sell it to you wholesale. Now, if you're just a regular customer and you're watching this and you have a Haber 2 pump, listen, we're already giving you a good deal for six ninety five for the regular bearings and everything else like that. But, like, you know what I mean? If you're some guy that, like, you know, you're like, yo, man, I like your idea. You know, I've thrown a local ad in the Club Craigslist, and you know what? You know, I've got some pumps now, and I'm starting to use one or two more of the week, and I'd like to kind of get some, like, kind of bulk discount. Guess what? We can hook you up. Just give me and Robert a call at the 800 number. We'll give you our wholesale sheet. We'll give you wholesale pricing. And we'll give you a lot better uh, profit margin. You know what I mean? And we'll hook you up. We have thousands and thousands of bearings. Here's some right here. Robert didn't want to go crazy and pack like a thousand bearings over here because he knew we were just going to move it when we, next time we change a set. So, but you can see we have a ton of stuff. We got seals, seals, and, and bearings of the kazoo. You can see here bearings and bearings and bearings and, and seals and capacitors. Down here we got some capacitors. So we have some stuff. So we're going to show you how to create your own pump business. All right? So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll probably be publishing a couple videos a week. Um, we just wanted to do an intro video, like we said, to say, you know what I mean? Welcome. You're, you're going to teach you how to work on electric motors. Now, just in ending, if you're still watching this video, I'm double going to salute you. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, and I'm going to say to you, hey man, think about this. In the future, cars are going to be electric. Windmills are going to be electric. Everything is electric and battery powered. So, if you start learning on pool pumps, before you know it, you might be rewinding like turbine windmills one day. You know what I mean? And like I said, pumps are getting more expensive. All right, so this is Joe Tomorrow from wetheadpumprepair.com. Thanks for watching an extra long video. And if you're unemployed or you're looking for a job, if you want to learn a trade, you want to learn some side money, subscribe because we have a whole new great series of videos that are coming up that I'm going to show you how to run a pump business and how to profit from it, where to get the parts and everything else. All right, thanks for watching. This is Joe Tomorrow from wetheadpumprepair.com. Peace.